السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آر لیکچر آف ٹو ڈے از اباؤٹ منرلس دیر آر مور دین ففٹی کیمیکل ایلیمنٹس آر فاؤنڈ ان دا ہیومن باڈی وچ آر ریکارڈ فار گروتھ ریپیئر اینڈ ریگولیشن آف وائٹل باڈی فنکشنس دیز کین بی ڈیوائڈیڈ ان ٹو تھری میجر گروپس میجر ایلیمنٹ انکلیوڈ کیلشیم فاسفورس سوڈیم پوٹیشیم اینڈ میگنیشیم ٹریس ایلیمنٹس دی انکلیوڈ آئرن آئرڈین کلورین زینک کاپر کوباز کرومیم میگنیز ملیبینم سلینیم نکل ٹین سلیکون اینڈ وینیڈیم وائل ٹریس ایلیمنٹس ود نو نون فنکشن انکلیوڈ لیڈ مرفی بیریم بورون اینڈ الومینیم کلورین از اے موسٹ ابنڈنٹ ایلیمنٹ ان نیچر About 96% of fluoride in the body is found in bones and teeth. Fluorine is essential for the normal mineralization of bones and formation of dental enamel. The recommended level of fluoride in drinking water is uh, 0.5 to 0.8 mg per liter. Uh, in temperate countries where the water intake is low, the optimum level of fluoride in drinking water is accepted as 1 to 2 mg per liter. The principal or major source of fluoride to man is drinking water and uh, it helps uh, uh, to prevent dental caries. Concentration or uh, dose of fluoride has uh, different effects. If it's uh, one par- part per million, it can uh, it causes dental caries reduction. If it's two parts per million, it can cause injury to vegetation and mortal enamel. Uh, if its concentration is five parts per million or more, it can cause osteosclerosis, drifting fluorosis, thyroid changes, growth retardation, kidney changes, and even death. As we have already discussed that uh, fluorine deficiency can cause dental caries while its effects uh, can cause uh, osteosclerosis and skeletal fluorosis. Okay, now this figure shows dental fluorosis. Our next element is sodium. Sodium is found in all body fluids. The adult human body contains about 100 grams of sodium ion. Uh, sodium occurs in many foods uh, and is also added to food during cooking in the form of sodium chloride. Sodium is lost from the body through urine and sweat that uh, is passed out uh, in urine and uh, is regulated by the kidney function. Depletion of sodium chloride causes muscular cramps. In this figure, you can see the side effects of excessive sodium intake. The effects of excess sodium are high blood pressure, heart failure, headache, left ventricular hypertrophy, stroke, gastric cancer, edema, kidney problems, and kidney stones. The requirement of sodium chloride depends upon climate, occupation, and physical activity. Adult requirement is about 5 grams per day. Our next element is phosphorus. Phosphorus is essential for the formation of bones and teeth. It plays an important part in all metabolism. An adult human body contains about 400 to 700 grams of phosphorus. A large amount of phosphorus is present in vegetable foods, uh, bananas, dates, uh, etc. And it occurs in combination with phytine. and is available to body to the extent of 40 to 60 percent. Uh, calcium and phosphorus are essential minerals found in the bone, blood, and soft tissues of the body. Phosphorus levels can affect calcium levels in the body and vice versa. As blood calcium levels rise, phosphate uh, levels fall. Here you can again see that uh, good sources of phosphorus include yogurt, uh, meat, Uh, poultry, uh, egg, fresh, etc. Magnesium is a constituent of bones and is present in all body cells. Human adult body contains about 25 grams of magnesium, of which about half is found in the skeleton. 
it appears that uh, magnesium is essential for the normal metabolism of calcium and uh, potassium. Magnesium deficiency may occur in chronic alcoholics, cirrhosis of liver, toxemia of pregnancy, protein energy malnutrition, and metal absorption syndrome. Health benefits of magnesium include uh, uh, it relieves de depression, manages uh, gastrointestinal issues, reduces blood pressure, reduces migraines may reduce a risk of colorectal cancer. Symptoms of magnesium def deficiency include uh, anxiety, weak bones, low energy levels, inability to sleep, hormonal imbalances, irritability, nervousness, headaches, abnormal heart rhythm, uh, muscle tension, spasm and cramps, fatigue, etc. Okay, now in this figure you can see magnesium rich foods. Magnesium is used in 300 reactions in our body and it is important for bone health. It helps keep blood pressure normal. It promotes restful sleep. It is good for muscle strength. It helps in vitamin D assimilation. It uh, helps in weight loss and it is also helpful in pregnancy. Our next element is potassium. The adult human body contains about 250 grams of potassium. Potassium occurs widely in food stuff. Uh, potassium is a uh, vasoactive, increased blood flow and sustains metabolic needs of tissues. Potassium is released by endothelial cells. Potassium deficiency leads to fatigue and muscular cramps. Hypokalemia leads to alkalosis, shallow respiration, irritability, drowsiness, fatigue, lethargy, and pretty pulse. Signs and symptoms of hyperkalemia include muscular cramps, twitches, paresthesia, irritability, decreased blood pressure, ECG changes, dysrhythmias, abdominal cramps, and diarrhea. The amount of copper in an adult body is estimated to be between 100 to 150 milligrams. Copper is widely distributed in nature. Uh, poor diets provide enough copper for human needs. A deficiency or excess of this element is very rare. Hypocopemia occurs in patients with necrosis. Wilson's disease and protein energy malnutrition and an infant spread for long periods exclusively on cow's milk. Neutropenia is the best documented abnormality of copper deficiency. Hypercopremia may reflect excessive intake which may result from eating food prepared in copper cooking vessels. Or it may be associated with severe acute and chronic infections, for example leukemia, Hodgkin's disease, severe anemia, hemochromatosis, myocardial infarction and hyperthyroidism. An estimated copper requirement for adult is about 2 mg per day. This figure shows the symptoms of copper toxicity. Health benefits of copper are uh, it helps in cognitive uh, function, it uh, has antioxidant properties, it helps uh, in boosting immunity, it may improve cardiovascular health. Our next element uh, uh, is cobalt. Uh, the only established function of cobalt in the human is it is as uh, work as a part of the vitamin B12 molecule which must be get ingested preformed. Uh, cobalt deficiency in cobalt iodine ratio in the soil have shown to produce goiter in humans. It is suggested that cobalt may be necessary for the first stage of hormone production that is capture of iodine by the gland. Cobalt may interact with iodine and affect its uh, utilization. Total body content of chromium is less than 6 mg. Uh, if there is suggestive evidence that homium plays a role in relation to carbohydrate and insulin function. Overdose of chromium results in skin ulcers, allergic and irritant contact dermatitis. Our next element is zinc. 
Zinc is a component of more than 300 enzymes. It is active in the metabolism of glucides and proteins and is required for the synthesis of insulin by the pancreas and for the immunity function. Zinc is present in small amounts in all tissues. Zinc plasma level is about 96 micrograms per 100 ml. The average adult body contains about 0.4 to 2.3 grams of zinc. Uh, zinc deficiency has been reported to result in growth failure and sexual infantilism in uh, adolescents and in loss of taste and delayed wound healing. This slide shows zinc benefits which include uh, boosting libido, helps with acne, it helps in treating uh, eczema, uh, anorexia nervosa, it helps in adolescent growth, it helps in healing wounds, yeah, it is used as a booster of the immune system, it maintains senses of taste and smell, uh, it helps uh, in treating macular degeneration, it regulates blood glucose level, it supports neurological function and it also supports normal growth of uh, infant during pregnancy. Most common reasons for zinc deficiency are leaky gut and digestive disorders, uh, medication usage and they include uh, NSAIDs, uh, acid blockers and antibiotics etc poor diet intake and uh, blood sugar imbalance, chronic stress and toxin exposure. Our next element is selenium. Uh, selenium helps in uh, weight gain, acne, in, uh, treatment, it improves heart health. Uh, selenium administration to children with calcium are getting significant weight increase. Uh, the selenium deficiency may occur in protein energy malnutrition. Selenium deficiency uh, combined with vitamin E deficiency reduces antibody production. Antioxidant are substances which are both nutrients, for example, vitamin E, C, beta carotene, selenium, and non nutrients uh, as plant phenols, flavonoids, uh, benzyl, isothiocyanides, caffeic. Ferulic, uh, gallic, and elagic acid. Uh, some enzymes, enzymes like superoxide dismutase and catalase superoxide mutase. These antioxidants reduce the adverse effects of reactive oxygen species and nitrogen species, which are generated during physiological and pathological conditions and result in oxidant damage. Experimental studies have shown that uh, you know, free radicals produced during tissue metabolism and their consequent damage are reduced by nutrient or antioxidants, uh, particularly vitamin E, C, coenzyme Q, and glutathione uh, seem to work in, uh, in concert by recycling each other. This figure shows the antioxidant benefits. Uh, it, they help and uh, and support and can function digestive system. Uh, they maintain healthy region. They improve reproductive function, improve nervous system, and support respiratory system. Uh, they support uh, immune system and improve body defenses. They help to reduce obesity and protect cell level, and they also improve quality of life and see the daily requirements uh, the dietary antioxidants form a balance form a balanced diet with adequate foods and vegetables ranging from 500 to 600 grams per day will probably be enough to take care of oxidant damage and repair cellular and tissue defects 